Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng username or user ID and password para makapag-login kayo sa inyong SS Mobile application. Hindi na natin kailangan pumunta sa SS branch dahil ang mga process ay through online na. So, punta po tayo sa Google and then itype po natin yung sss.gov.ph Ito po ang kanilang SSS website. So, once you are in the website already, i-click lang po natin yung I'm not a robot and then click submit. So, makikita po natin dito sa ating right side, the member, employer, small business wage, coverage and collection partner in branch directory, i-click po na itong itong member. So, maladirect po kayo dito. So, if you don't have any User ID and password yet, dito po tayo pupunta sa not yet registered in my SSS. Okay, so, i-click po natin yan. At may mga lalabas na mga reminders. So, so, you have to be ready kung anong information ang ilalagay nyo sa inyong web registration. So, kung ano po yung titiliin ninyo, information, eh, dapat eh, naka-register mismo doon sa SSS. So, pwede natin gamitin yung savings account number, yung ating mobile number na naka-register sa SSS. So, kung na meron kayong unit card, employer ID number, ang inyong PRN, date of loan with existing loan balance, transaction number showed in the personal record, check number of any monthly pension received from SSS. So, pwede din natin gamitin yung ating mga savings account number, as web registration information, basta po ito ay display na naka-post po sa ating SSS records. So, yung mobile number natin ay kailangan po na naka-register sa ating SSS saan yung pag-submit po natin ng form E1. So, kung wala po po tayong humid card, huwag po natin isa-select ang humid card as registration information. Kasi po, you will have a field web registration. So, likewise, entering your mother's maiden name will result in a successful web registration. So, kahit po piliin natin yung yung card, hindi natin siya, um, hindi natin nalagyan ng information itong um, mother's maiden name. So, kapag wala pa kayong yung mid card, it will lead to a successful pa din Pwede rin po natin gamitin yung ating payment reference number. At, if uh, last name or given name exceeds 15 characters, continue lang po ang pag-include natin. And then, the last letter of the character being a very important thing. So, upon submitting the application, ipo-check po natin yung email po natin. Nagasa na po natin yung mga reminders na yan. Ayan. Proceed lang po tayo. Okay. So, dito po ang ating mall, um, online member user ID registration. Dito po, um, i-enter po natin yung ating SS number na makikita po natin sa ating SS card or yung um, kapag nag-register po tayo, meron po tayo nun. And then, yung email address na i-register nyo po dito, dito po ipapadala yung confirmation if you have successfully or unsuccessfully registered po sa ating my SSS. So, pwede po tayong gumawa kung ano po ang preferred user ID po natin. Dito po yan. And then, input po natin ang ating last name yung double name and the middle name. Date of birth, ayan po. So, supply lang po natin lahat ng mga information na kailangan po. Okay, ko ilagay yung aking mga information.
Okay. And then select natin Philippines. Okay. So, ito po yung ating registration preference. Ayan. So, kung alin po yung pinaka madali para sa inyo at nakaregister sa SSS, yun po ang ilalagay natin. In my case po kasi, um, I know kung ano yung mobile number na nakaregister sa akin. Pero this is not applicable to use kasi um, lalo na sa mga taong papalit-palit ng number at eh, nakalimutan na kung ano nire-register nilang number sa SSS. Pero in my case, I will be using mobile number dahil naaalala ko pa and I know kung active pa yung aking number na nakaregister sa SSS. But if you have humid card, this is the most applicable registration preference to use. So, kapag po um, pinlik natin or chinas natin yung humid card, makikita po natin dito yung humid card pin ko. So, makikita po natin yan sa ating humid card. And, so, meron kayong humid card, pero hindi nyo alam kung ano yung number, pwede natin isupply dito sa ating mother's maiden name. Pero kung wala kayong humid card, hindi pa rin po kayo po pwedeng pumili ng registration preference yung humid card because it will still um, be successful. After supplying all the necessary information, i-click po natin itong I'm not a robot and I accept the terms of service and then i-click po natin yung submit. Okay? After po natin mag-submit ng application, Within the day, says meron pong email na darating doon sa email na niregister ninyo. So, makikita nyo po dito. Okay. Meron pong email na darating na katulad niya. So, uh, dito po, you'll just have to activate your SS member account, your mobile account. So, dito, you will just have to save or to create your own password. So, click lang po natin to, provide your preferred password, and then i-click lang natin yan. So, once we click there, um, sabi dito, we get to inform you that registration is no longer accessible. Say, I'm already done with my application. Pero meron dyan lalabas yung preferred um, password mo. And then, after mo masubmit yun, you can already download an SS Mobile application and pwede ka na doon mag-online. So, makikita mo na lahat ng mga transaction mo. So, pwede ka naman sa... Okay, guys. Ayan, magiging ganda na siya. Pwede rin naman dito sa laptop or sa Google Chrome ng inyong cellphone. So, makikita nyo dyan, pwede na kayong mag-login ng user ID and password and then submit. And then, madadirect na kayo sa mismo um, mismo website ni SSS. So, makikita mo dito lahat ng mga transactions and informations and announcements ni SSS.